One critical component that plays a vital role in ensuring the efficiency and performance of a combustion engine is the exhaust valve. The exhaust valve controls the timing and duration of the exhaust gas flow from the cylinder to the turbocharger. The main engine of the ship, which is normally a two-stroke crosshead internal combustion engine, has a single exhaust valve per unit mounted in the center of the cylinder head. In this video, we are going to describe about the general arrangement of an exhaust valve, the function of the individual parts, the step-by-step -step procedure to assemble the exhaust valve. The exhaust valve consists of several parts, such as the housing, the spindle guide, the air seal, the seat, the spindle, the air cylinder, the hydraulic cylinder, and the oil seal control unit. The exhaust valve has a housing which is made of cast iron. It has chambers through which cooling water passes for maintaining the valve temperature. The cooling water enters the jacket from the cylinder cover through the three holes provided in the housing. The cooling water leaves the exhaust valve on top at this location. The housing has an opening at the bottom to accommodate the seat. The exhaust valve has an opening at the side for the exhaust gas to leave. The sealing air entering the housing at this port prevents the exhaust gas from entering into the gap between the spindle guide and the spindle. The housing accommodates different components for operating the exhaust valve. A spindle guide is inserted into the central bore of the valve housing. The spindle guide guides the spindle movement inside its bore. The air seal are placed on top of the spindle guide. The air seal is a part that prevents air leakage from the air cylinder to the exhaust valve housing. It is made of a metallic outer ring and a rubber seal that contacts the spindle. The air seal also has three O-rings. The bottommost O-ring provides a sealing surface with the valve housing and the top two O-rings provide the sealing surface with the air cylinder. The air seal is important for maintaining the proper air pressure and spring force in the air cylinder, as well as for protecting the spindle from corrosion and fouling by the exhaust gas. Both the air seals together with the spindle guide are fastened to the housing using Allen screws. The exhaust valve seat is a renewable valve seat which can be reconditioned or replaced in case of damage and is usually made from hardened molybdenum steel with stellate coating for good temperature resistant property. This is the valve seating surface against which the valve spindle rests during the portion of the engine operating cycle when the valve is closed. The valve seat is fitted to the bottom of the housing by two Allen screws. Cooling water flows around the valve seat. The valve seat is provided with drilled holes in its circumference for improving the cooling. The valve seat is also provided with a telltale hole to know the condition of the seating of the exhaust valve onto the cylinder cover. If the seating is poor, the exhaust gases will leak out. This hole prevents leaky exhaust gas getting into the cooling water side after damaging the O-ring. The spindle is responsible to draw the exhaust gases out from the engine cylinder when operated in an open and closed position. The spindle can be a molybdenum chrome alloy with a layer of stellate welded onto the seating face or alternatively, a heat-resistant pneumatic alley valve head, friction welded to an alley steel shaft. The spindle is opened by the hydraulic pressure acting on the oil piston inside the hydraulic cylinder and closed by the air pressure acting below the air piston inside the air cylinder. 
The valve spindle is fitted with a winch valve rotator. The force of the exhaust gas leaving the cylinder acting on the small vanes of the valve rotator rotate the valve spindle slowly. This arrangement helps in rotating the spindle by the flow of gases when the valve is open. The valve rotation can help prevent valves from sticking due to carbon buildup. Valve rotators can also help reduce carbon buildup, lower engine emissions, and extend the life of key engine and valve gear components. The valve spindle is inserted into the housing from the bottom of the housing. The air cylinder is a device wherein the air piston fitted onto the valve spindle moves up and down. The air cylinder has a provision for spring air entry into the cylinder through a non-return valve. The spring air is admitted below the air piston to close the valve when hydraulic pressure ceases to act on top of the oil piston. The air cylinder is fitted with a safety valve to release the pressure if the air pressure inside the cylinder exceeds 23 bar. The air cylinder has a provision for draining the lube oil from this connection. A controlled amount of lube oil is fed through this port to the seal part from an oil control unit to lubricate the valve stem and the sealing ring as the spindle moves inside the valve guide. The oil also ensures the sealing of the exhaust valve spindle guide. The air cylinder is placed on top of the valve housing. The valve spindle has a groove where the split conical rings are fitted to lock the air piston onto the spindle. The air piston is lowered and held below this groove. Then the two halves of the conical ring are inserted into the groove. A flange is kept on top of the conical rings and the air piston is secured to the flange using bolts. The air piston moves inside the air cylinder. The air piston is fitted with an O-ring, which will be doing the sealing function with the spindle. Another sealing ring, which is in contact with the air cylinder. A groove is provided on the top surface of the piston for certain arc length for a spring-loaded check rod to move on this arc on the piston. By observing the popping up movement of this check rod, we can confirm the opening and closing action, as well as the rotation of the exhaust valve spindle. A controlled amount of lube oil is fed to the system for the lubrication of the check rod. Hydraulic cylinder accommodates the hydraulic piston. After inserting the hydraulic piston along with the piston rings inside the cylinder, the plate is fitted with screws at the bottom of the cylinder. The hydraulic piston is prevented from coming out of the hydraulic cylinder by this plate. The hydraulic cylinder unit has an opening here for the hydraulic oil under pressure to enter into the cylinder to act on the oil piston to push the valve spindle to open. A limited quantity of oil is passed through an orifice plate to the oil seal control unit which is fitted on top of the hydraulic cylinder. This unit feeds just sufficient lube oil to the air seal unit to lubricate the valve stem guide and sealing ring. A small rod popping out every cycle of the engine operation confirms that the oil is being fed to the valve stem. The amount of oil that passes through the valve stem seal is important to be controlled because too little oil can cause wear while too much oil can cause carbon buildup. The safety strap, the hydraulic cylinder, and the air cylinder are fastened to the exhaust valve housing by the studs and nuts. Hope this video helped you in understanding the various parts of the main engine exhaust valve their functions in the assembly procedure. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content.